Hey, wonderful to have you this week. We are doing all things eyelash today. I've had so many of you reach out to me about all different types of eyelash applications, treatments, things to do to make the lashes look more voluminous, a little bit more full, and I'm going to address a wide range of options for you in this tutorial. First of all, let me address something that's popped up a bit in the comment section. Ever since I've launched the podcast on Mondays, a lot of you are saying, wait, wait, I I, I miss the Thursday videos. I, I don't want you to stop doing tutorials. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm still doing Thursday videos. It's just that the podcast we record on video form as well, which airs on Monday on YouTube as a video, but it's in addition to what I'm normally doing on Thursdays anyway. So I didn't want you to worry or think that somehow I was dropping the tutorial in lieu of full-time podcasting. No, I'm, I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. But I just wanted to let you know that, that Thursday is normal. It's very much tutorial-based, you know, beauty, hair, makeup, lifestyle, organization, all the same things, um, and then some. Okay, back to the lashes. So I just wanted to point out, uh, first of all, a couple of things that you can do. Eyelash extensions, you know, a lot of people get them and they go for the very long, the voluminous, uh, and it's really a personal preference. But would you believe that I have eyelash extensions on now? And it really depends on the type of look that you want and what you ask your lash technician to do. So in my case, as I come in a little bit and you can see, and I've kept my makeup very, very minimal so you can really, really focus on the eyelashes. These are, there, there are several different types. You can get the individual, so think of you know the base with one lash, or there's a base with two lashes, or there's a base with three lash. That's called a volume lash. So if you get a volume lash, those are usually thicker, fuller. These are single and double. And the other key is, how they are layered. So this is called a hybrid volume, which means there's a mix of longer, shorter, longer, shorter. The other thing too is the length. And I will tell you that these run from 10 to 12. So 10 is my shortest, 11, 12, and, and they're interspersed as well. Um, some women do up to 15 and 16 in length, and that's how you even longer, and that's how you get those really, really big lashes. But you can have a very natural look with eyelash extensions if you so choose, just make sure you have that conversation with your lash technician. Say, hey, you know, I just want to wake up feeling like I've got mascara on and that's it. And I don't have to worry about my lashes. And I think you can come out with something very, very natural that will appeal to your style. Uh, talk to them about the type of adhesive that they use. I find my lashes can last definitely two and sometimes up to three weeks. So have those conversations also about any sensitivity you may have uh, to try it out. So that's number one. Number two, there is the basically lift and, and tint. So the lift is, is a, think of it as like a perm for your eyelashes. If you have straight lashes, which I do, but let's say you have naturally long lashes, right? You don't wanna deal with extensions. You can actually perm them, so lift them, and they do it around a rod, and it can, they can determine the type of curl that you want for your lash, and then they can tint, so they can tint a dark brown, they can tint a black, depending on your hair color, your skin color, and that can last up to eight weeks. So I just wanted to share that that's another option out there for you. Okay, so now to the tutorial part. And here's where we have our options. We've got magnetic lashes. There are so many different types. I've always, I've always preferred the outer wing. I am dropping things lately. Have you noticed that? I did that in my other video as well. Um, I always prefer the outer wing of a lash for a, for a magnet. I just find it easier to apply. And then I've got a couple of options for the adhesive, the lash strip. And we're going to work with those as well. But we'll start with the magnet. These are the outer wing. I buy them on Amazon. There are so many different types of brands. The ones that I seem to reorder are by Vasool, V-A-S-S-O-U-L, 0.2 millimeter outer wing lashes. They look like this. So as you can see, they're small, they're thin, and they just fit the outer third of the eye. Application on these is very simple. You will take an eyelash and you put one on the top part of your lash and then there's the bottom one that's going to fit underneath and I just take my finger hold it down 
of the bottom meet up and there that's the look that it creates so it's a little extra pop for the outside of the eye I find it to be very natural looking and even gives just a, a little bit of a, an eye lift as well so let's go in with this one and with a little bit of practice these are actually the easiest to apply so again top hold it they meet up now, I normally wouldn't recommend doing this over eyelash extensions, <laughs> but considering that's what I got, that's what we're going to do. You know, with practice, uh, doesn't come perfection, but comes improvement. A uh, great trick for downturned eyes, you apply it to the outer third, but don't go too far out. Just leave a few little outer lashes alone. And then when you magnetize them and clip them in, they can lift. So if you have a downturn or a droopy eye, it can really help to create a nice little cat eye. So that's the beauty of these. And I, like I said, the simplicity and the quickness of it. So removal is generally pretty simple. You kind of wiggle the magnets apart and they separate and they just pull off like so. So just wiggle, separate the magnets. And that way you won't lose any of your lashes. They come off so, so easily. And back in their little house and in the drawer they go. So the next one that I really like also, now this is a little bit more of a dramatic look. I have to hold this one, Ardell 002. So they're a little bit thicker, they're a little bit longer, a little more voluminous. Yes, these have three magnets because they're going just a little farther on the inside to make that connection. So again, the longer it gets, the trickier it can get. But again, with practice, you'll be able to get it down. Okay, so same concept. I'm going to come in with the top one and I'm going to rest it. So the first thing that you want to do is get this to where it fits your eye the best. So sometimes you can just set it there. You can open your eye a little. You can take a peek and see if it's in a good spot. And then you come in with your bottom one. Now here you're going to have to hold down a little bit more on the inside. I prefer to link on the inner corner first and then let the rest kind of follow suit. Okay. So that one clipped pretty well. Again, same concept. If you want to leave the last few lashes out, it'll give you a nice little lift and a cat eye. Let's see if I'm going to have the same look on the other side. I always get one side that's like great, spot on, and then the other one's kind of wonky. So I'm going to hope for the best here. There. You'll feel it click. Okay. Ta-da. I got them both. You can see that the Ardell 002 covered more area, made it look like almost, you know, a full lash set. I am very, very picky. I do not like them too long, which we will talk about. Everybody's eye shape is very different. Some people have longer um, eyelash lines. I'm, mine is shorter. So I find that with lashes, I oftentimes have to clip them. So I always gravitate to the smaller ones. Also, I like that cat eye effect. I like that lift on the outside. So this is my other favorite pair of magnetic eyelashes to wear. Um, I don't feel them. That's the other thing I like. They're extremely lightweight. I know so many of you have said, I've given up. I've thrown in the towel. I'm, I'm tired. I can't figure out these magnetic lashes. I promise you it's once you get your system down. And I really think the trick is starting from the inside and working out clip, 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 you know, you just have to hold it. But once you get it, you get it. And then you will find it so easy to apply and it will change your life and it will change your eye makeup look. And then the beauty is if you don't want to commit to lash extensions or a tint and lift, hey, you just pop them on and you pop them off. So again, same concept for removal. Just give it a little wiggle. And then they just simply separate and come right off. So you want to be very, very careful and gentle so that you do not pull too hard or lose any of your own natural eyelash. So again, just a little wiggle, separate the magnets, and then they just glide off. Since I have eyelash extensions, now would be a really good time just to comb them out. And we will actually move on to a lash 
strip, which will require adhesive. So the adhesive that I like is the Duo The Clear. I know that you've got a lot of options in this. Um, there's even black adhesive. I'm not a fan of black adhesive. I find that when you apply the adhesive to the lash and if you don't get the lash on in the right spot first time around, and let's say you hit your eyelid, you're going to have a little smudge of black adhesive there. It's hard to remove, it's sticky. If you then try to correct and put eyeshadow over it, your eyeshadow just sticks to the adhesive and it just makes it look worse. So clear for me is the way to go. The products that I like for eyelash adhesive is Eyelore London. And as you can see, these are three quarter length. Let me show you a full um, lash strip. I've got a couple in here. All right, so these guys are super, super long. I mean, this would be for a night out but do you see how wide this is? It would literally come in to the inside, so I would have to clip the inner portion of this. And if you do want a full, like, bloomin' lash for a night out, just remember, customize it to fit the size of your eye. So for me, that's gonna mean removing a little bit of that inner corner. It might be the same for you as well, but don't be, af be afraid to cut these. Um, the other thing, too, this has its own glue. A lot of them will, which is great, but I always like to have an extra on the side. You can always take a brush and just comb out the lashes and even go back and forth a little bit on the ends and it will soften it and give it a little bit more of a natural look as well. Now, some people use tweezers for applying to each her own. And just hit the top with the glue so close I can't even see. <laughs> I'm just going to assume it's where it needs to be. Let it set for a good 15-20 seconds before you apply. And then what helps me is kind of flatten down the natural lash so they're not curled up. So just kind of comb them straight down. And now I'm going to come on top and I'm going to try to get that glue and the base right at the base of my, my lashes. Not too high above. And then I just literally take the tip and gently, gently push it in. And sometimes you just have to take your fingers and do a little pinch and just kind of bond them together. Now you can see why I like this lash strip so much because it just, for me, fits the shape of my of my eye. I, I also find that if the lash strip is too long, the first place it's going to start lifting is that inner corner. And it's going to drive you absolutely bonkers and it just won't look natural. I have to say that's sometimes the hardest part with this stuff is that it's so delicate and little and it's easy to drop. It's easy to lose things. That's why I've got a collection. <laughs> A literal eyelash collection. I will open my drawer and show you. I kid you not. It's a stash of lash. <laughs> ah, I just like them. I really, really like the different effects that eyelashes can have. I think they really can make such a difference to the shape of the eye, to eye makeup, you name it. So line her up. Get the base right in there. And then I... Before I pinch, I check and see if it's in the same place as the other one. In this case, I went a little too far out. So now I can see it's in alignment and this is where I start to pinch and seal the two together. Like I said, you can use tweezers. Um, I just have always been accustomed to using my fingers. So they are on. My next trick in this is because these are three quarter inch, you're going to have a thicker kind of lash look and then the inner corner is going to have nothing. So what I recommend is just take your favorite liquid liner in black and now you just sort of come in on the inner corner to help fill that space and get it to meet up. And you can even, here's the little trickery, you can even draw in like little lash strokes on the inner corner. So it looks like you have tiny little lashes there as opposed to just a thin line. But this helps to build up the fullness 
and have it as a continuum. Okay. So there is the three quarter length by Ilor London. Uh, gently, <laughs> I've got to be super careful because this is bonding to eyelash extension. So I want to get it off now while, while the getting's good. Okay. There we go. And eventually you can really reuse these by the way. What you'll need to do is the next go around once that glue has dried, just take your fingers. They'll be like little rubber balls. You just kind of pull the glue off of the base so that when you're starting over, you don't have any glue on the base. Okay. All right. So back to square one. The next thing that I wanted to show you, it's a little bit more time consuming, but let's say you're looking for a supernatural look. This is by Kiss and it's called Looks So Natural 3D. These are actual individual lashes and they are short, medium, and longer. So you can customize, it takes time, but you can literally build and customize your own lash line with these. I think tweezers are kind of a must. And let's say you just want, you know, maybe a little outer pop. Same thing, these you apply with the glue. I kind of anchor it with my little tweezer. And so now you literally come in and you just do one at a time. And you customize, you do as much as you want, you go as far in as you want. Again, I prefer starting on the outside, working my way in. And then if you have areas that are, you know, a little sparse or whatever, then you get to fill those how you wish. And these guys stay in place really well. You can also angle them a little bit to, to wing out instead of going, or you, if you want more of an open eye look, you, you can line them in straight. I angled mine cause I, again, like to create that, that cat eye. So that's just three right on the outside. And I think you can see, right? The difference in the lash look of just the extensions that I have, which are very, very natural and literally just three, um, of these individual ones that I've popped on the outside to create a little bit more of this wispy um, cat eye effect. So it's kind of cool that you can build your own eyelash according to what you want and what you need depending on your eye shape or where you may have thinner areas of eyelashes and all of that. So I just finished applying the Look So Natural 3D by Kiss. I did three of the extensions. Um, two of the longer, one medium. As I come in, I think you can see, um, I just find them very, very easy to apply, especially when they're very tiny like that. So wonderful, wonderful options when it comes to lashes. You know, just, just take your time with it. You know, this is your alone time in the bathroom to figure things out and to play. I do find that if I go for more of a lashy look, I try to keep my eye makeup as simple as possible and not do too much dark eyeshadow because then you don't see the lashes. So you'll notice that I used a very nude eyeshadow throughout this entire tutorial because I really wanted you to be able to focus on the lashes and just the different looks that you can create. Um, comments and ideas, suggestions in the comment section below for future videos for Thursday. Yes, the beauty hair makeup uh, tutorials organization. I do have some organization videos coming your way, by the way, I'm excited about those. But anything else that you uh, might be wanting to see, I can't wait to hear what you have for me. I so appreciate you being with me for, you know, if, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Can I encourage you to subscribe and be a part of my community that's been with me, some of whom since, oh my gosh, 2014. It's amazing. We're coming up on a 10 year anniversary next year. That's crazy stuff 
crazy, y'all. Um, so yes, please subscribe and, and share me with those that you love. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and appreciated today's tutorial. And uh, follow me on social media. I'm there uh, practically every day during the week on Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok. But um, yeah, wherever you like to hang out, I'm there. So I hope you follow me there as well. Go out, be bold and be blessed. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.